hoping that these guys have it because every cent counts. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Beck. Feel free to stick around by hitting that subscribe button. In this video, I am showing you how I get organized for Father's Day. We are celebrating Father's Day tomorrow. For Meg, it is the day before because on actual Father's Day, we'll be celebrating our dads. And so Mick graciously said, let's just do me the day before. I'm super duper excited, but because of that, I need to get my stuff ready today. There's a couple of gifts that I want to do. I don't know about you guys, but I know for Father's Day I try and do as many like homemade special sorts of gifts because the kids are only going to be this little and cute once. <laughs> I'm going to bring you along on the adventure. So the first gift I'm going to give Mick is a photo frame that says Daddy Daughters. And I quickly took a picture with Mick and the girls this morning, so I'll print that off. I need Scrabble tiles and a picture frame for that. Um, the other one I want to do is you can get like this calico bag and put rocks in that it says Dad You Rock. And it's a game of noughts and crosses and I thought that would be fun to take with us to breakfast. So a little game that Mick can play with a mirror. The third gift I want to get Mick is a book that we got from the library a couple of weeks back called Farters Day and it's all about farts and Amira loves it and I think Mick enjoys reading it to her. I hope. So that's another thing I want to get. And then Zoe and Amira will both do Mick's colouring, um, wrapping paper and they've also made a couple of gifts from Family Daycare. So Mick is going to be loaded up with love which is excellent because he fully deserves it 110%. So. Let's stop rambling and let's go get these gifts. Our morning jobs are done. I have put a picture file on a USB so I can print the picture out. And we are all ready to go to the shops. Hey, Miss Amira. What? <laughs> are we all ready to go? Yes. We're going to get Daddy a Father's Day present? Yes. Yeah. And I will hold it. Will you? Yeah. And when we come home, are you going to make some wrapping paper for Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the shop. First stop is we are going to go to Big W and get these photos um, processed because it's going to take about an hour, which is going to get us really close to sleep time. So we'll get them done and then I'll go shopping for the rest. The photo is now getting developed. Thankfully I loaded a couple on because there was actually only one there in the end. So I'm just in the book section now and I'm gonna find this book for Michael. I have a feeling if it was gonna be here, it'd probably be on the side because it's a Father's Day book. So we're gonna go check a bookshop. Um, I actually might go because it says Kmart and Target's got it for 10. Oh, no problem. Well, we've Sorry. got four copies, so they don't have any. Okay, you can always cool. Them. Thank you so much. The bookstore had it, but it was $15. Target says they have it for 10, so I'm hoping that these guys have it because every cent counts. What's Daddy's name? Dad. Oh, it's a Maca book again. Yeah, lots of Maca books. We're just seeing if they've got. The book for daddy. Not here, next door. Hopefully they have it. Otherwise, looks like I will be spending $15 on a book. No. No book, so time to get photo frame and some rocks. 
we are in the cheap shop now to try and get a DIY like you rock kind of a present. I just bought the t-shirts, it was really hard to vlog in that store so I'll show you when I get home. But we're looking for a calico bag and some pebbles. done a quick search online and these is probably as close as I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna have to pick the lace off. So now it's time to find some pebbles or rocks. Amira, what do you have? Rocks? Yeah? And paper towels. And a photo frame. Good girl. <laughs> We are in the car now. It has been a crazy morning, so I will update you when we get home and the kids are asleep and I've had some lunch. I am going to wash these now. So Michael's t-shirt says the boss and the girl says the real boss. I think that's pretty apt about how our family is run, even though we have these well thought out plans, sometimes if the girls need a sleep or if they just need something really badly then they are the boss and they're in control. So I'm going to wash them now, hang them on the line and hopefully they'll be dry before Mick gets back. I'm just going to put a mirror to bed and then I will show you my other Father's Day presents. I have two gifts that I am going to make for Mick. The first is a picture frame that he'll take to work. He has been collecting these since 2016 when the mirror was first born. And the second item I'm making is just a fun little game that he and Amira can play when we go out for breakfast. My heart is made of stone. I know it's not my fault. It's just the way it is now. This honestly turned out even better than I imagined. This is an idea that I saw off Pinterest and it is ridiculously cheap. The frame was $2 from Kmart, the print was 15 cents, I printed it out, glue and scissors. Like honestly, such a gorgeous keepsake and such a cheap price. For gift number two, it's just a simple game of noughts and crosses under the context of you rock dad. So I've got a brown calico bag that I need to cut the lace off because that was the only one I could find. I've got some white rocks that I'm going to use a permanent marker to do the X's and O's and that will be gift number two done and dusted. This turned out so much better than I thought it would and it's all intact. So now it's time to draw on the front you rock daddy and to do my noughts and crosses board on the back. to do the wrapping paper now and I'm just going to blue tack pre-cut um, brown paper on the floor and they can just do their masterpieces. Okay, we are all set up the pre-cut wrapping papers on the ground. Don't forget to put the waxy part on the floor, otherwise your drawings won't stick on top. So we're just going to draw some wrapping paper for Vic.
Thanks for coming along on this crazy busy adventure to get ready for Father's Day for Mick tomorrow. Honestly, the shops were so chaotic and chasing around to find that book was definitely more stressed than I had anticipated. But I am glad that everything has worked out and that I am sure he will love these gifts. And I like the fact that they interacted with the girls and most of all, the wrapping paper was absolutely stunning. Stunning mirror and Zoe did such a great job. So if you've liked these DIY Father's Day ideas, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't done so already and tap the bell to get notified. Because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book, we only have each other. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle.